here with Nick Cooper, the Chief Creative Officer of uh, Victory Hill. That's it. That's right, at the yeah. Avengers Station exhibition at the Singapore Science Centre. Um, Nick, tell me a little bit about um, the exhibition itself. Well, you know, look, this is uh, probably, uh, you know, what well, is a very immersive, uh, interactive experience. It really brings you into the heart of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, you know, it, it, it is an educational experience where you get to learn all about the science behind these superheroes. And, uh, you know, it's a super rich universe. And, you know, this place really feels like now you get to be in the heart of it and become part of this Avengers team. Right. And, uh, like you said, it's a part of the Marvel Cinematic universe right. but um, what was it like reverse engineering characters yeah because you know um when Captain America was written, yeah. they gave him a set of powers. Right. I, I don't think uh, too much thought was put into the science behind it. That's right. But now yeah. you're reverse engineering this character. So what what's, uh, what was that process like? Yeah, man. I mean, that's it's it's amazing. I mean, you know, it's funny because I, I met with Stan Lee once we'd gone through all of the you know the design and everything, and he goes, "Oh, I didn't realize I was so smart. I just used like gamma rays because it sounded awesome." So, but yeah, man, it was incredible, and I think that's uh, one of the reasons why. My Marvel so successful is that you know these characters are grounded in a scientific origin and a lot of you know the advances in science are really starting to show in in this content and so you know things like epigenetic modification is now how we deconstruct the super soldier serum you know and uh, and things like you know the Iron Man suit and exoskeletons a lot of this technology is catching up and but this is that old adage of you know science fiction becoming science fact and you know it, this really makes that evident and clear. Right. And uh, I, I see a lot of prop over here. Um, are these from the movie itself, from yeah. the movies themselves? Yeah, so most of these in here are all uh, original props and costumes. Cap here is from Avengers 1. Uh, you'll even see Black Widow, her knees are still a little bit dusty because it was from the Battle of New York when they were on the bridge. Right, right, right. So, so I think all those bumps and bruises are, are cool to see, you know. And So yeah, yeah, Marvel have been great and opened up a lot of these assets for us and, and for everybody here to be able to come and see. And um, how is it? So this is the fourth installation of um, Avengers Station 4.0. Right? That's right. How is it different from um, the ones in Mark 4? Mark 4. Yeah, oh yeah, Mark 4. Yeah. Right, Mark 4. <laughs> yeah. So how is it different from the ones uh, that, that that have run? Uh, uh, you know, in Seoul, in Paris, in, right. in, in Vegas. Yeah, you know, this is the first time we've really been able to bring everything that we've ever created together. A lot of times we could have, you know, some of the, all of this in one show, then other things in another show, but this is the first time we've ever been able to bring it all together for one, you know, truly inclusive and epic a journey you know so so yeah we're super pumped to be here and, and you know the fact that it's a science experience and it's in the science center which is an incredible institution you know it's, it was it was meant to be here you know it's great and you know um so i've i've gone through i've tried most of the installations out um i particularly like the hulk yeah, uh, yeah. i particularly awesome. like the hulk yeah i think it's very interesting the way um you explain why he turns green yeah right, right? why he turns green yeah and but what's your particular what's the one exhibit that you feel i know it's your baby i know the whole yeah. uh, event station is your baby if there was uh, one thing that people need to see and that would blow people blow your mind away which one which do you think it'd be yeah it's, it's a hard you know like all the areas have their benefits you know and you go into there and, and it depends who your favorite character is because you you know you form an affinity with that and and with that said though i think like you were saying about the hulk uh how you know we were actually able to give him scientific justifications to why he's green. Same with Cap, you know, we're able to build why Cap is Cap. It's not just because he's a super buff dude, it's because he's got a big heart. And so we go into a lot of the increased brain connective tissue. So I think for me, it's those are my favorite bits that bring all of this into one experience, you know? So so I can't really, it's probably, that's not a very good answer, but <laughs> it's just like all of it, I think, all comes together as one experience rather than any one piece. For me. So basically, what you're saying is uh, you should try out. Well, you should you should try everything out. You should try everything <laughs> That's exactly out. right. Yeah. So how long do you expect, uh, uh, say, a normal um, customer, a person who um, views the exhibit? How long do you, would you expect them to spend in, in uh, throughout the whole exhibition? I think on average it's around an hour. Uh, but you know, it, it, for example, in Paris, which was a, a smaller show than that, we would have people stay up to three hours. You know, because there's a lot of information and a lot of gameplay and a lot of interactive 
chairs and so there's a lot you can do and I think if you come as a family or with a partner you know you've got all your assessment questions so you can really spend many hours in here just ingesting it all uh, but you know on average I think the average consumer spends around an hour to an hour and a quarter. So I'm going to ask you a very uh, um, a question that I like the answer to so yeah. Any ideas or more like um, any plans to spin out from the Marvel Cinematic Universe or to include maybe uh, other aspects of the Marvel Universe? Um, yeah, well, you know, we, we, you know we, we try to really make this an extension of that MCU, right? So we will, as it grows, uh, you know, we're looking at including Black Panther and, you know, as Captain Marvel comes on board and then obviously, you know, Avengers Infinity War is coming and that's going to connect Guardians and, man, it's going to be super epic. So, you sound like a fan. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Marvel Avengers Station is going to be at the Singapore Science Center for the next couple of months. So if you do have the time, you know, it's one of the things you have to check out. 